Hi, my name is Jovi and welcome back to Kids Corner. Today we're going to learn about procrastination. That's a very big word today. And those who don't know what that word means, I'm going to tell it to you right now. Procrastination means that you always want to do something another time. And you never want to do it like, like if someone says, hey, it's time for you to do your homework. And you say, no, I'm going to do it tonight. And then you don't do it tonight because you start getting tired. That's an example for procrastination. So before I share some steps to help stop procrastination, I'm going to tell you guys a personal story of when I was doing procrastination. So one day I had this whole like 15 or 20 paged math sheet and I need to finish it all in like a couple days or so. And I didn't do it the first day. I didn't do it the next day. I didn't do it the day after that. But I finally waited until the fifth day when it was finished, when it was all supposed to be finished. And it was due on the sixth day. I stayed up so late studying all of those math problems. And now I get why people weren't helping me with it because I should have done it the day I was supposed to do it. So that's my personal story of procrastination. And now I'm going to share some steps to help stop procrastination. So I have three indexed cards that I'm going to read to you right now. So the first one is rotate between two tasks. So let's say company was coming over and your mom or my mom gave me a me or you a really two really boring chores or tasks and you had to do them both before they came the company came so what you would do is pick the most boring task that you think so i would pick um so let's say she said either clean your room or do or set the table. I will pick cleaning my room. And some people might pick setting the table, but I would pick cleaning my room. So after being done with cleaning my room, I would come down and say, mom, I finished doing, doing my room, cleaning my room. And she'd say, Thank you, can you go do your um, table next? Can you go set the table next? And I would say, sure. And that only takes about five minutes. And then after that, any minute, the company will be over. So that's the first um, step. And speaking of the word steps, next one is break jobs into small steps. So, let's say you had a 10-paged um, homework essay that you had to finish in one week. So, they gave it to you on Monday, and you had to get it done by the next Monday. That's one week. And you would say, I don't want to do this. And instead of doing 10 pages the first day, you do ten on one, two on Monday, two on Tuesday, two on Wednesday, two on um, uh, Thursday. So right now you'd have four. You'd have four on Tuesday, six on Wednesday eight on Thursday, and then 10 on Friday. So that's a faster way to break it into like twos, cause it was tens and tens and 
when you're counting by tens, um, tens are even. So that's just a little reminder. Now the last one is to have a go-to person to keep you on track. Like my personal story, um, some, some of you guys call her Nancy, I call her Grancy, but sometimes when she's watching me um, play my piano, no one can distract me from stop playing piano. So that's just like a little go-to person to help you stay on track. So now we're going to go into the scripture, Luke 12, verse 40. Okay. You also must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. So that tells us to always be spreading the gospel because you never know when Jesus is going to come down to this earth. And he's probably gonna see all of us at one time and we're gonna say, who is that? Then after we know who it is, some of us will be scared because we haven't been listening to any of the gospel or any of that. So that's what I think you should do. Those things that I just did here to stop and the scripture to be ready. So now we're going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that we have to be prepared for Jesus to come down to this earth, for your son to come down here from heaven so he can be able to talk to us about how we've been acting and, and he knows that we have to tell him the truth. In your name we pray, amen. Bye.